John here, guys! And today, we're talking about the iFlight Beast. But remember, the Beast is mine! All-in-one 30 by 30 board, the F7 flight controller with a BL Heli 32 45 amp electronic speed controller all in one. You know, I've been waiting for an all-in-one that could power a full-size 5-inch quad for a number of years. In my first couple of builds several years ago, I used the Racer Star Star F4S all-in-one that was a lot bigger than this, but it could do everything at once. For me, that saved weight, it saved time in soldering back when I wasn't very good at it, and I just liked the reduced number of components. But as we found back then, the reliability and power just wasn't that much. So it actually did me pretty well back then, but once I started crashing hard, uh, those things didn't hold up as long as you would have wanted them to. But has that changed? I'm willing to take the risk because iFlight has been putting out some of the most powerful all-in-one boards. Their Beast line of 25 by 25 whoop size uh, flight controllers have been adopted as the spec build ingredient for the 250 that we saw on the channel here. Now that is a five inch 4S quad, but it's an ultra light, much, much lighter running smaller 2004 size motors still on five inch but only carrying a small action camera like the insta 360 go 2. well what if we decided to use that in order to build a lightweight five inch freestyle quad run it on standard 2207 size high kv 1860 kv motors on 6s along with an action camera attached in this case the run cam 5 4k how light can we get a build and how much power can we send through it and can it handle it? That's the answer that I wanted to choose. So with the Runcam 5, with a 1050 uh, milliamp hour 6S Tattoo V4 pack, this comes out to 624 grams super light that's like mr steel level of lightness uh right here so that's the weight savings and build time savings this thing goes together like a dream it has all of these ports on here and that's one of the things i really liked one of the favorite things about building up that 250 was that you could just plug your cable from the vista once you soldered it up directly into that all-in-one board and it would just work like magic. But what if you wanted to build something a little bit larger, a little bit more powerful? Well, this is 45 amp. And because they have increased the size to 30 by 30, you can now get an all-in-one single layer board uh, that has a variety of connectors on here to make the build super easy for you. In here, this comes encased in this little wiring diagram so you know what each of these connectors are for. Uh, it also comes with a variety of accessories, hardware, a couple of capacitors, a lot of these harness things, and check this out. Uh, if you're building this in a tight build, like a Cinewoop or any other type of tight freestyle build, you have this little connector USB-C plug that you can get. Now it does have a USB connector on here at the front, but for some builds that might not be super accessible. So if you leave that connector on there, then you can move that USB-C uh, cable to be able to connect to beta flight on anything you want. It also, of course, comes with an XT60 connector. And I wanted to show you the two cables that I'm gonna actually be using for the build. Both of them will be at the front right here. So this one right here is gonna plug in, which is gonna be for receiver. I'm probably gonna install Crossfire on here, and all I would do is snip this, and there's my four wires for Crossfire. Very easy. Next up, this cable does not come with the kit this is the cable that you get in any vista unit uh, any dji unit right here now one thing i don't like about this revision is you have to repen this uh, which i don't understand why they did this on the 25 by 25 uh, f7 board you could just plug it in and it would be lined up you just have to make sure to seat this all the way to the right but on this board they've changed the wiring and the first pin is now a vtx which you would use like for analog and the power and ground now starts on the second pin so if you don't pay attention to this and think it's the same as the whoop board you're gonna have a bad day so pay attention you got to repin these wires in order to match up i don't know why they already had it pinned perfectly for the whoop board and they changed it for this later release it's very disappointing and frustrating but other than that 
this is really fantastic it's 45 amps look at all of the nice little caps and fets on here on both sides and of course it has your f7 processor on board plenty of uarts now there are only a, a small row of pads on the actual board itself so the rest of your accessory accessories you're meant to use connectors so there's all these connectors for camera vtx um, and other accessories as well again i'm only going to be using these two i do wish the motor pads were a little bit bigger um, this is actually the top side right here. So this is what I'll be soldering motors to. They're a little bit shallow. The power pads are nice, nice and large, but that's really sort of a minor gripe. Other than that, this thing, is this finally going to give you single layer safe for full size five inch? All you really have to do is solder up motors in your XT60 and you are literally off to the races. Well, I don't know if I would certify fresh for racing. If you're racing, you are probably gonna be on 20 by 20 and you're gonna be crashing super, super hard. If you're a bando basher, I don't know if I would go ahead and risk this. I'm gonna be flying this hard with weight on success punching, uh, but I'm not probably gonna be crashing hard and that's the use case. If you are using this more for cinematic flying, uh, I would say this is a perfect option. I also do really like that there is a plug in order to be able to have an extension wire to run a USB-C on here. There's also a regular USB on here as well. So you can really configure your build any way that you want. Say if you're running like a squirt and you wanted to have access to the USB port, that feature is already included for you. It has the MPU 6000 gyro, which is the gyro that you want and it just lets you have a bigger, better, more, faster to build up build. If you're really trying to reach a specific goal for weight, this is gonna be what you could potentially use and it's been holding up for me. But for about the same price, you can get two boards uh, so that any one of those fails, it'll be less expensive to keep it up in the future i'm gonna continue to run this this is kind of like my freestyle build i'm gonna have a full video on this johnny 5 edition apex that uses this coming out very soon so stay tuned for that but so far several success packs with an action camera it's flying beautifully and the weight is low and it's handling it and the build was a dream what in the comments guys are you ready to try an all-in-one 30 by 30 uh, this is one of the few that I would attempt to try. So stay tuned to see if it lasts long term. And if you've been using it, if you've made the jump, let us know in the comments what kind of experiences you are having. Really exciting times. Uh, chip shortage prices is about the only negative thing to consider during this time. But other than that, what a time to fly, guys. What a time to fly. You can spend less time on the bench, less time building, more time flying, more time getting that stick time. Thanks, guys.